Welcome back, everybody. Rob Barrington here for the weekly challenge, and we are back with Thursday's version, hands seven and eight. I think we're doing pretty well so far. I like the last two results we had, um, even though the first one seems normal. The second one might be okay for us. This hand here is a 10 count. We opened a 10 count already in this session, but that was really nicely shaped with nine cards in the major suits and all the cards working in those two suits. This is a flat 10 count. It is a downgrade in all situations. Now we see it go one spade. Our partner bids three diamonds preemptive. It goes three spades on our right. Interesting. Um, I I want to compete in diamonds, but I don't want to push them to game. I'm going to pass and see what happens. Now the question is, do we bid five diamonds? I'm expecting I'm expecting partner to have a singleton spade usually. Um, they have a reasonable diamond suit almost always in this situation. What are we going to do on defense? We could take one or two diamonds, the ace of clubs, and maybe partner has a trick, or maybe we have a slow heart trick. Um, bidding five diamonds here would need us would need us to be really confident that they would be making four spades, and also that we would be going down two or less in five diamonds. Uh, if we assume we have no diamond losers and one spade loser, we might have a couple heart losers. In fact, we frequently are going to have a couple heart losers. And if partners short in spades, they're not necessarily that likely to be short in clubs. Now, they did make this vulnerable preemptive overcall, which usually shows some discipline, at least some reasonable hands. However, if they have a reasonable hand that does include the ace, queen, jack of diamonds, they're going to have something else, which means four spades. Seems like it's more likely to go down uh, when partner does have a solid uh, preemptive hand. So I'm going to pass and just hope we're taking more tricks uh, in in spades. And this is going to look good here. Uh, so I, this looks absolutely like shortness. Okay, so I mean, I don't know. Does it look absolutely like shortness? Maybe not. Let's think about this. Does partner have one spade? So Six, they, they're not 6-5, right? I'm going to think about this for a second, folks. This could be disastrous. So we know partner has one or zero spades. So the, the question is, what's this three of club lead? I mean, it looks like it's a low club from three small, to be honest. Because if partner has one spade, they're going to have six diamonds at least. Let's give them seven diamonds. I suppose they could have four hearts, seven diamonds, one club, and one spade. I don't think they would be 6-5 because I would expect them, if they were going to be three diamonds, why didn't they just Michaels and show five hearts and five diamonds? Um, three clubs is just interesting. I'm thinking about it from their perspective. They could just be looking at ace, queen, sixth of diamonds, three small clubs, maybe king, third of hearts or something, and a stiff spade and being like, hey, I need to safely exit my hand. The problem is if, if they have a stiff spade and a stiff club, I need to give my partner a rough right now. I, I just think that is not that likely here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to duck this. Or I can honestly, or I can just play Ace of Clubs, King of Diamonds, Queen of Hearts, right? And maybe, I mean, does partner have the Ace of Hearts over there? It seems unlikely. Hmm. But that's, I mean, that's still, yeah, well, that could give us enough tricks. I'm going to torture myself forever. All right, I'm going to play that. I mean, I don't I don't think partner has four of them. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to play that. Let them win their jack. See what happens. All right, partner did not have any spades. That's a good sign. All right. So lefty had six spades. They're going to just lead a club at some point, which is probably not right now. And they know they can rough or probably they can probably just enter dummy. I think they might have a low uh, a low spade left. We need to lead a heart from our side. Actually, we can cash the king of diamonds. Oh, they, we didn't. Understood. Okay. Lefty actually had the ace of diamonds also. So this is just brutal. We should have. I should have led a heart. It looks like partner does have the ace over there. They. I mean, they, they, they made a preemptive jump over call with 
you know, a garbage hand, basically. Oh, they didn't even have. Oh, OK. So they just had a Yarbrough over there. Amazing. Partner, what are you doing, buddy? That is whacked out. So they had King third, Queen Jack 10, seventh and out. I mean, OK, there you go. I guess I guess we're going to lock that into their range. I mean, after a spade opening bid, I can't blame them too bad. But, uh, yeah, the club lead was unfortunate. Uh, uh, diamond lead isn't that much better. A heart lead kind of holds it on this one, I think. If we if we look at the results screen over here, we'll see the heart lead is going to be the best, right? Uh, probably the least likely thing they're going to lead, right? They're either going to lead the queen of diamonds or just safely exit. Um, but, yeah, again, at the opening lead, it just seems way unlike – it's. It seems super unlikely partner is short in clubs, right? So we can kind of make that read. The rest of the hand is just going to play itself, right? On any lead, they're going to take two over tricks, except for hearts, where we get to set up our slow heart tricks, and we're still letting them make game. That's, that's the spot. Five diamonds. We lose no spades. We lose one heart, one diamond, and a couple of clubs. So it ends up being a reasonable sacrifice, it looks like, as long as they can't... Uh, Oh, they can look at that. Okay, against five diamonds, if they do get off to a club lead, it can it can go ace of clubs, blah, blah, draw trump, hop ace, transport to the club over there, and a club rough. So they could get us, um, they could get two diamonds, one club, one heart. Um, or sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. We're, we're going to trade off in that spot. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't. I hope they didn't sacrifice there because if they did, it's really good for them and really bad for us. But let's continue here. Ooh, one spade past two no trump. Look at this. They're having a Jacoby two no trump auction. I mean, I'm tempted to get into this one, but I, I happen to know something very important here. And let's just give our, our players their, their normal hands. Let's say they have 13 and 13, right? Opening hand and the the opening hand minimum. Now, this is based on a fit over here, so it could certainly be less. That's 26. I have 10. That's 36. It means partners looking at about four points on a really good day for them over there. So it's tempting to want to get in here. It is not tempting enough. We get to find out some information about it, their hand. They're short in hearts over there to our left. And they've chosen to just play game. I don't necessarily want to let them know anything about my hand. I certainly don't think I have enough to sacrifice. The way I determine that is just as follows. They are going to make 420 for four spades. Just count your losers. One, two, three, four, five already. And we're in three. Sorry, we're in four. So that is five losers down two for minus 300. Add any other loser throughout this entire hand, and we're minus 500, which is worse than we can do for their letting them make games. So here, I think we're just going to pass. We don't love it, but we're out. And now let's see what partner leads. Not surprising. They lead a heart. And look at that nice 12 count over there. The reason they get to their Jacoby Tuno trumpet as well is they have a little shortness on their hand over there. So they count that towards their, their points. And the question is going to be for us. How many tricks are they going to take, and what are they going to pitch on that king of hearts over there? They're saving that to the end, it looks like. They have very good clubs. Here we can give partner a little, hey, I like some diamonds. Not that it's going to matter too much. We can confirm that. We played the seven, and now they're getting a pitch on the club and the heart. Brutal. And that's that we can blame on our partner as well, right? They did not, they did not make the correct opening lead. They should have led a heart. <laughs> sorry, sorry, a diamond. Then we get both of our tricks. Unfortunately, we are stuck with zero tricks on this hand. And that means, hey, maybe they should start bidding these slams on their side, huh? Yeah, that, this would be a good time to get to six for their side when our partner's not going to lead their queen of diamonds. Uh, it's funny. We didn't bid hearts. We didn't do anything. They led, they led low from three small for some reason, thinking they need, needed to be in a hurry when just a normal kind of, hey, top of touching honors in either of these two suits would probably be better than a low heart. The Queen of Diamonds clearly the best choice, the, the one that's most likely to produce a trick at some point. And it'll just go Queen of Diamonds, signal that you like it. You'll take two diamonds, and then you'll hold it to five. If we bid three hearts, pretty clear that our partner would lead hearts then, or at least we think. So that wasn't going to change our lead, but a diamond would have held it. But nothing we can do, right? We can expect if things went the same way that they have the same defense at the other table. And whoa, 
look at what we're starting with tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to be interested. I, I almost want to bid it now, but I'm going to wait. Stop back tomorrow, see how we finish this hand, and see how we've done in this set. These last two boards look terrible, but really not a ton of stuff that we have to do on either of these when, when our partner's on the opening lead and the auctions are like they were, right? So here, we'll take it. We will move forward and see what we do with this hand tomorrow. Come back tomorrow, find out, and see the results as well. See you soon.